Hi, my name is uh, Dries Barada and I am from uh, UWS College and today I will show you on this video how to add two vectors. The vectors cannot be added as we add an algebraic uh, expression. A vector is something that can be represented with an arrow, a point of application and the head. If I call this vector V and I want to add another vector to it U for example there is a method called method of parallelogram that allowed me to find what we call it a resultant of these two vectors R equals U plus V how to do that is simple you have I have to join the, these two tails together so let's do it if I have to do it using this I can take the, the V here this is my V and I slide the do you here parallelly? This is my U. Put an arrow on it, which means a vector. Now I go to parallel to this vector V here. And the parallel to the to U comes to here like I said we have to join first the tails together and now my resultant is this vector here what I call R so, as any vector, the vector has to have a magnitude and direction. Now, I will take an example in mechanics in which I have two forces one force of 150 newtons and another force equals to 100 newtons the first fo force is doing 50 degrees with the horizontal and the second one is doing 10 degrees to the vertical and I want to calculate the resultant of these two vectors what I have to do, I use the method of parallelogram, like I showed you before. I draw the parallel to this side, which is here. The method of this 150 newtons, which is here. And therefore, my resultants are is there. In fact, these are the R corresponds to the longest diagonal of the parallel. There are right numbers again here it's 150 newtons to win 10 degrees with the vertical and 100 newtons to win 
15 degrees with the horizontal. To do that, now, to do the calculation, I wrap out here. I will use what we call in uh, mathematics the cosine rule and the sine rule. I just recall the cosine rule when you have a skyline a triangle like this which has A, B and C as sides here the angle B the angle A and the angle C the cosine rule states that C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2 a, B, cosine, C. This is the cosine rule. The sine rule states sine A upon the sine A equals sine B upon B equals sine C upon C. So what I... What I need here to calculate is the R. So what I have, I have this side which is equals to 100 newtons and this one which is parallel to this one which is 550 newtons. So 100 newtons and 150 newtons. Okay, this is in order to calculate R, the modulus of R, the magnitude of R. But what I need, I need to, to know the angle which is opposite to R. To do that, I have to calculate it. What I have, I have here, first I calculate this, this angle alpha. So this angle alpha, in fact, is the 90 degree, 90 degree mi minus 15 plus 10, which is 90 minus 25. So alpha equals 65 degrees, therefore this angle same thing equals 65 degrees. If I add the, all the angles of the, the parallelogram, I will have 65 plus 65 which is 130 degrees, plus this angle that I'm looking at, I'll call it beta. So I've got beta plus another beta here equals 360. So therefore, I've got two beta equals 360 minus 130, 0, 3, 230. Divided by 2 to get beta is 115 degrees. So therefore this angle is 115 degrees. So beta here is 115 degrees. Now I don't need all this. I need just recall again the cosine rule which is c squared c squared equals 
a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine the angle c. So what, what plays the role of a here is what plays first the role of c is the resultant that I'm calculating. I can write r squared equals a squared which is 100 newtons squared plus b squared 150 squared minus 2 100 times 150 cosine of the angle between 100 and 100 and 50, which is 150. So, when you do the calculation, you put this into the calculator and you square root the R, you will find that R, the resultant here equals 213 newtons. It's not finished yet because, like any vector, R has to be given, we have to give its magnitude and direction. What we need now to know is this angle that is doing with the horizontal, this angle, if I call it theta. How to proceed? In this case, we will use the sine rule. Now I will use the sine rule to determine this angle that I will call gamma. How to determine gamma is by using the sine rule. Just recall that sine uh, a upon a equals sine b upon b. So here, this, the sine of gamma divided by the opposite side to gamma, which is 150 equals sine of this angle beta which is 115 sine 115 degrees divided by the opposite side to this angle which is r r we calculated before and it's equal to uh, 213 so sine 100 and 15 degrees divided by 230. So finally sine gamma equals 150 times sine 115 divided by 213. You put this into the calculator and you end up by finding gamma equals 39 degrees point 8. To summarize, I've got R, which is 230 newtons. I've got gamma, but I have to give the direction of the resultant of these two forces to the horizontal. Finally, to the horizontal, the angle is theta. I will add, I have to add this angle that I just found, 39 degrees, 8, to the 15 that is given to me by the problem. And uh, theta finally equals 54.8, 54 degrees, 8. Your final answer, in a problem like this, should be given 
as follow r because it's a vector equals 230 uh, 230 newtons 54 degrees 0.8 to the horizontal so on this short video I have shown you how to add two forces in 2D problem to get the resultant and as any vector the resultant has to be given by its magnitude and direction so your final answer should be something like this uh, Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video.